Retro Arcade Suites here in Lemton Spa. I'm joined by the owner Aaron Hunt. Aaron Hunt. Uh, they've, ju they've just opened up here in Lemton Spa as a new business. Uh, they've got a business in. So we've got a couple of businesses. One business we've got at Hatton, which is exactly the same thing, it's selling sweets. Um, and then we have a business which is for weddings and events, which we hire out arcade, or hire out, um, arcade machines, and we also do photo booths. Excellent, that, that, that caters for literally everyone. Now there is a lot of sweet, sweets on the market, but yours, as we've just seen with the filming around the shop, stand out because yours are freeze dry. Yeah. So tell my viewers a bit about your freeze dry sweets. So we started off, about 12 months ago um, in the sweet industry which we were learning lots watching lots of videos online learning what was trending on TikTok and all the other bits and pieces and we found out that freeze drying machines are they're a they're very unique because they're not as as, as popular in, in England as they are America which we tend to find that a lot of things come across uh, the ocean to us um, so we thought we'll try we'll buy a small unit and start trying to sell them in the UK so, do you make your own freeze dry? We make sauce? our own freeze dry, which is probably quite significantly different to others. Yeah. Um, usually, freeze dry sweets are made by a particular manufacturer or they all make them and then sell them on to other people. Yeah. Um, we make them directly in house. So, we have our own machines, um, we make them directly for the shops, um, and then we started to do a TikTok shop and then we saw a massive trend of them selling across the board. So, we've had our main website, TikTok, and our stores sell out across the board at the moment, so we did have to take them down, unfortunately. But we are back in action with more machines, so you've we've got, been able you've to You've got an them. online shop, what's the website? So the website is arcadesweets.co.uk. So you see Arcade Suites right behind us. And if you do get a clip of the front entrance, you'll see it yeah, on I've the got, tag I've got, of I've the got a clip of these. So that will be fantastic, but yes. So you can shop directly with us, you can shop and collect. Um, which is absolutely free, uh, so we will pick and pack orders for you if you are local. Um, but you can also order them if you are living anywhere in the UK. Some reason we seem to have more orders come in from Scotland than anywhere else, but yes, you can order anywhere. Excellent. So we're going to show a few of the. I don't know if you've got any samples, which we can Ooh, show the yes, show, show yes. the uh, okay. show show the people watching what oh, freeze we've got, dried we've got, what we've got sweet freeze dried. Well, often now you see me seeing in the clip that we we uh, showed you the selection of sweets I've got here. But he's gonna, Aaron's gonna show us and give us a little taste of some of these strange now. I've, I've really tried some, and these are pretty weird, weird sensations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. If you haven't tried freeze dry sweets before, what it does, essentially the process is you put it into a very similar machine which is like an oven. Um, in those trays, it, what it does, it then takes out all the moisture out by creating a, a vacuum, um, which then sucks all the moisture out of it. At the same time it heats it, um, which then makes it expand. So you get a sucking process, which then makes the sweet a lot larger, which I will show you here. Um, which in that process, you can see they're a lot bigger than the original. They are probably three or four, maybe five times the size of their original status. Freeze drying was originally invented by the astronauts at NASA. Freeze, free, so the history of freeze drying itself has been originally came from the Incas a long, long time ago of keeping products cold and then uh, expanding them. Um, and then I believe in the 19, early 1900s it, uh, there was a, a growth in the technology. Um, and then the way it was kind of put into I guess more the main sphere um, was in the 1960s they did some work with NASA um, which then they did it as part of going into space food which you see a lot of references if you talk about uh, freeze dried sweets um, they are obviously very light which is very what without the moisture extremely light. but very big and very much like very crunchy and it's very much um, like a meringue like yeah, texture. That's what I was just about to say, it's like a meringue flavoured fruit salad. Now, fruit salad's a proper retro sweet here in the UK. You used to be able to buy, buy them for a penny in the sweet shop. Nowadays, you're paying probably about 10p for one of these, but really. So, we have 
quite loads of different varieties. As you can see, we have these smaller bars, which Swizzle, Matlow make fantastic freeze dried sweets. In terms of when they're freeze dried, they make fantastic sweets. Try one of these. Um, these ones are great, like Stinger bars. They will grow probably seven times the size, eight times the size of what they are originally. So they are super, super cool. So um, this is the, the drumstick now. For anyone familiar with drumsticks, they are the sticky thingies on lollipop sticks. So if you are in which the are normally the dentist's best friend. <laughs> so if you're in the TikTok world, you will know that these are very much ASMR in terms of they are crunchy, uh, no more chewiness in terms of the texture, but they're very much. Let me break one in half. You can see it's so airy and dry, which is why. People love these. That's weird. Normally it takes me ages to get through one of those drumstick bodies, and this is just. Doesn't stick in your teeth. It just melts in your mouth, yeah. and you, you get the full flavour of the. And the flavour changes because, because it's a dried flavour, it starts off quite quiet in terms of taste, and then the ambience of it grows quite significantly. So. You do see that the type of the sweet changes its its flavour quite significantly, which is why some people say it's like they try freeze dried sweets. It's like a new brand of their own yeah. sweet. Which um, sorry, one of the ones which we have lots of fun with, which is great to showcase, is I'll show them on my thing. So these ones are bubblegum turtles, which you can see they're very small, but they turn into probably. I would say it's eight times the size of their normal, which sweet. And this is worth trying side by side. We'll try the original first, and then we'll go for the freeze dried. But this is the thing with freeze dried sweets. You'll probably see in mainstream Skittles, sour Skittles, um, maybe, oh, what else do we see that sells quite regularly? We see that we've got millions, squashies, but what the fun of freeze dried sweets is you can do it with pretty much any sweet. Okay. Total different? Mm. I prefer the freeze dried one to the original gummy. Yeah. That freeze dried one hits more with flavour. It's, 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 it's a very subtle start, but yeah. then it intensifies as you go through it. And that's what generally yeah, people say, because it's a dry flavour, it takes a while for it to kick in. But yeah. your saliva glands go overload because it's so dry in your mouth. Oh, my, my saliva glands. <laughs> <laughs> if you like hot food, like I know you do, yeah. uh, it's a very similar experience that your mouth just waters and it's yeah. kind of like going, it's, it intensifies your, your taste buds. So it's really, really good. Excellent. So, uh, as we've seen the arcade machines they provide here, so, classic games. So we have arcade machines in the shop, they're all free to play, so one thing we like to do is we call it kind of, I like to call it re well, retail experience in terms of you want to come out to a shop to experience something, you don't want to come in and just do a transaction. Yeah. If you want to do a transaction, you just want to do that online. So the idea is you come into the shop, experience the games, and we call this more social gaming rather than, I guess, today, nowadays, if you're playing your kind of Fortnites or you're playing your games online, you want to be on your headset, you want to be in the game, not talking to anyone apart from your own friends like, online. Like, like most kids these days. Yeah, you play it? Call of Duty or any of those games. Yeah. But what we call the old school games, the retro games, is two people next to each other on a controller, battling it out. Battling it out, like, it out. Battling it out like the good old days. Yeah. And so we're showing our ages here. <laughs> <laughs> For you younger viewers, you probably wouldn't know what one of these are. Apart from the not 360s or Xbox Ones, <laughs> they are proper retro gaming machines what we used to play as kids in the arcades. And this is part one. We've got in two weeks time we've got some new um, machines arriving which are your kind of time crisis gaming machines with the guns oh, and point cool, blank. Yeah. Um, so they arrive in two weeks. So we'll have those in the back of the, the shop um, so people can come in and they're free to play. So And they're my favourite games. They're my favourite classic games. They're the ones that I think kids even nowadays House of still the House love of to the play. Dead and House of the Dead, yeah. Or Operation Wolf. Yes. Yes. That's an absolute um, classic favourite of mine, Operation Wolf. <laughs> so those will be here and those will be, you can play two player, they've got the pedals and everything so you can play and I think everyone will have a lot of fun with those. 
you also serve coffee, tea, and every kid's favourite and what time of your day like this ice cream with an amazing array of toppings. I've got to say myself, my son is here with us filming tonight and he's had an ice cream with some of his favourite toppings and so yeah, in terms of ice cream, we've got a base layer which you can have your cookies, your brownie, you can choose whatever you like, you can have all of your little different toppings. Um, and then at the same time, we do a very nice 99 whip, you can have a small, medium or large. Today we've been doing a little bit of a nice day with everyone to entertain them, but you can choose your thin toppers on top with you and then you have your, then your flavouring on top. So you can have your raspberry sauce, your chocolate sauce, your biscoff, you name it, we've got it here. And if there's something that you really individually yeah, love. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. There's one thing missing. What have you missing? On your, on your, on your ice cream list. And that's ice cream with hot sauce. Hot sauce? So oh. Yeah. Is that a thing? That is a thing. That, that is a thing. Hot sauce with ice cream. Max, would you like if, hot sauce on your ice cream? If you, if you check out some of my videos I've done, I've done videos What's where... What's Scoville though? What, how how, how many How many Scovilles? About 500,000 Scoville. Okay. So a, de a decent hot sauce that... We, we, so we do in Hat, and then we're going to do it in this shop, we do the challenge where you can come and try our sweetest, our hottest sweet for free, but just for our fun and to record you at the same time. Um, but what we will try is hot ice cream, which I think is going to be a very good twist, a very, but we will have to get your recommendations on which one to do. I can, I can always come, come down with some But I want, I want the customers to come back now, I don't want to. Yeah, I, I've, <laughs> I've got an ideal sauce which is perfect for everyone. Oh. It comes from the Sabasco brand. Yeah. It's a raspberry chipotle sauce. Ooh. So you've got a hit of raspberry and then you've got a slight, hit, slight kick of heat from chipotle and that works absolutely amazing. I think, I think that's something to try. And I it's, think. A, it's a big fan favourite with my editor, LG. He, him and his, son, his kids love putting the raspberry chocolate on top of their ice cream. So I reckon I should come down here one day when they're open. They're opening on the Saturday. This Saturday. This, this Saturday. So one day in a week, I'll pop down with the raspberry chocolate. I'll come and see Aaron, and we'll see what he thinks of raspberry chocolate sauce on ice cream, and see if we can sway him adding hot sauce onto the menu of their ice cream. Yeah, that'd be fun. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for that, because that'd be interesting. We'll do a separate video of that and we'll upload it to the channel straight afterwards. Or even better, we'll do a live. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. So we could do the sour challenge at the same time. We could do a mix and match. I'll make a creation for you and you make a creation for me. That sounds like a, sound like a brilliant deal to me. So, I think that basically covers about everything, see the preview video of everything they sell in the shops, everything is way price wise. It's two pounds, a hundred grams, and that's the same price across the board for any particular suite in the shop. So you can either do pick and mix, or you can go to the, uh, we, what we would do with the jars, yeah. so you bring them to the table, then we weigh them out for you individually. So two pounds for a hundred grams, which is re really reasonable. Some places pay it, charge a little more than that. I'm not going to mention these places because they're probably watching right now. So we won't mention these other places that sell store shop pick and mix. But here, 100 grams for two pounds, that is an absolute bargain for them, I'm saying. Yeah, and then in terms of the shop itself, you can comment down, you can play the arcade machines for absolutely free. We've got some seating coming in the next couple of days. So it will change around a little bit, but there's lots of different things all around the store. If you don't like your kind of pick and mix sweets, there's lots of different fun kids sweets to have. Also, um, there's some cold drinks and all the things which you need in this hot sun, so you can get yourself cooled down very nicely, which would be fantastic. So, well, I think that will bring the end to this effect. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you. For and we will see you again. Accommodate And what we will do in the next, I'll do my live, you can do your live. We'll work together, do a little bit of a collab and see how many people can get on board. That would be yeah, fantastic. that would be great, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try and bring my editor down with me. He, yeah? See if he wants to join in the fun. <laughs> uh, Hopefully you don't burn me up too much. But oh, I can do the sour ones. <laughs> I don't know if I can do the hot ones. That is... Uh, they don't call me EHP for no reason, so. But I'll promise not to hurt this gentleman, as long as he promises not to hurt me. Uh, for now, I have been Extreme Hippie. This has been Passion and Pain Reviews, a special video of the new arcade suites here in London Spa. Thank you all for tuning in, and we will see you all again very soon. Bye bye. bye.
Welcome back to Passion and Pain Reviews. I am Extreme Heat Pete. I'm here today because I have been challenged by Erin at Arcade Suites here in Leamington Spa to take on a challenge he has in his brand new shop which has just opened up. It's an amazing place. It's called Retro Arcade Machines and tons and tons of retro suites which you can go and play the arcade games for free and sweets there but he challenged me to the latest tiktok craze which is going on and the challenge is to eat these uh, free mega sour sweets now you go in the shop say you want to take on the challenge he gives you the option to buy it for free or if you complete the challenge you get the challenge for free the challenge is normally about three pounds so i'm going to try and i'm going to do my best to take this on so it's three sweets the rules are simple one sweet in your mouth suck it for 10 seconds but second one in your mouth suck it for 10 seconds third one in your mouth suck it for 10 seconds and then suck until they are completely gone now there is a warning on the packet caution extensive consumption within a brief time period may control cause temporary mouth and stomach irritation now if you're prone to that stuff please don't take on this challenge because you might do yourself more harm than good ingredients wise we have got sugar glucose glucose syrup citric acid malic acid bicarbonate of soda colors e129 e102 e122 e132 e133 flavoring Niacin, copper, glycol, turmeric, paprika extract. Okay, simple ingredients. So that is the challenge. Now, I love the packaging. The packaging is quite eye catching. Now, I can imagine kids going into the shop saying, Mum, I want this. I want this. I've seen it on TikTok. I want to try it. Well, who knows? But anyway, I have done sour sweet challenges in the past and they have worked okay with me. So, uh, break the seal on an unopened packet. There we go. You know, the bin will keep the cap, we'll keep the product on camera at all times. Now, it doesn't state which sweet to have at the same time. So, now we are going to remove the spectacles so you can see how these sweets affect me oh look a nice blue one now and you might start with blue seeing blues my favorite color and well blue blue raspberry i suppose so there we go there's the blue one so i haven't got a timer so i'm going to count to 10 and so forth all right there we go first one in Ten seconds gone. Come on in.
feels like I've just licked the car battery. Where is that sour? Um, the third and final one. That's not too bad. Eyes are watering a little bit. In fact, eyes are watering quite. Quite badly right now. On a train scale, one being easy, ten being really difficult. But for me, I'd say it's about a two. Some people might struggle a bit more. A bit more than me. But it's a two on that initial hit. Or sour. I'm starting to feel something leaking out from the inside. Raise. That's the problem you put three ball sweets in your mouth. It takes forever to. Now I'm doing my best to crunch these, the rules don't state that you can't. Mm. Easy challenge, very easy challenge. So, you ever come into Leamington Spa? Head over to Arcade Suites. I'll leave their information in the description there for you below. Remember to give me a big thumbs up so you enjoy this video. Please share your friends and family. Smash that red button, turn it grey, you know what to do. Keep on subscribing, the more you subscribe, the more amazing product reviews I bring your way. Also, please remember to ring that bell. Be notified every time I upload a video. That's pretty fair to say. I've smashed this challenge. Uh, the next sour sweet challenge I'll be taking on will be the zombie balls, which are spicy sour sweets. I'm waiting for 
I'm waiting for arcade tweets to get them in. As soon as I get them in, I'll do them. I'll even do them live in the shop. Right now. Right, the packs can go on the wall of flame. Empty mouth, I've got a bit of a blue tongue. Wow. <laughs> anyway, that was it. That's the end of that challenge. Great challenge. Nice and easy. For an adult like me, for a child, probably a little bit more a bit more intense, but my eyes are still watering from that intense sourness. It was literally like licking a car battery. Wow, really good. Anyway, check it out. All that information is right there. In a world of miles and pounds, as a hero who takes a stand with a fiery heart and a burning beat, here comes extreme heat. Scream with fire in his eyes Fight to strong, but his passion to lead. 